And my friends, this is Ian Stewart here with a brand new tool for the autoresponder. We've got three more tools on the way that you may be interested in, uh, but that will be for Buildivis Online and you can use it within the Buildivis Online autoresponder. But this is all about generating inline forms uh, for your campaigns. Now, let me just show you, I've just created a campaign and this is the default button uh, with its form, okay? Now, people, some people want to um, modernize it, okay? So make it look uh, a lot more eye-catching so that we can get those people to click on the call to action button. And that's what we call the uh, call to action button. So let's go over to the button generator. Um, and what we'll do is just show you, show you uh, about, okay, and how it works. So we've got a one or two um, prompts, as it were, telling you exactly what these are for. So along with those notes and this video, um, you shouldn't need much help. So the first thing you need to do is to generate a campaign. So I've called this the HTML button code test, as simple as that, okay? And that's all it is. So what we need to do then, once you've created your campaign and chosen your capture template, you need to click onto settings just there. And you will see that this is the default piece of code that picks up the default form okay for people to opt in so if we go over here we can change it we're going to need two important things you're going to need your builder business online autoresponder username which should be the same as your builder business online account so the builder business online account and your builder business online autoresponder should be the same so mine is builder biz Okay, then I need the campaign. Um, let's have a look. So I'll come back over here. And I need to just hover over this. And I can see bottom left hand side that mine is 5947. So 5947. If you don't put that in, it will not work. Now, the form with, this is the preview of the form at the moment, and that's a little bit too wide. So I'm going to knock that down to say, let's say 400. So as we're doing this, it should come down. So there it is, 400. Um, and then that's the top box, as I call it, that they're all dealt with. So now what we need to do is to make this our own. So Depending on what you are trying to promote, if it's a free ebook, you could put something like get your ebook here. If it's a free piece of software or free something, get your free whatever it is. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to put gain. Okay, and I'm going to put. Uh, sorry, capital now. Okay. Now you can do that all capitals if you wish. So, so there we have it. Okay. Now what I could do, I could shut this down a little bit more. So let's just do that. I'm just going to close it down a little bit more. Okay. Now we can change the, the font from Arial right the way through to Vedana. And those that know me, I love Vedana. Okay, you can change the font size. So that's it coming smaller and then bigger. Okay, you can change the color of the text. Okay, I'm, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, well, it is white at the minute. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at white. I'll show you in a minute why. But you could either have it bold, which would mean we'd need to widen this up a bit okay or we can have it italicized okay 
now then we've got a couple of presets where we, we are adding more okay and uh here's here's some now so what we could do uh there's that one okay there's a two-tone so that's uh um red and i don't know a little bit pinker and then you've got this white border now that stands out pretty good so i'm going to go with the white border now i want my color to be black so i'm going to cut i'm going to tick or check right down at the bottom and then i'm going to come away so there we have it okay now your border size you can make that bigger can you see that look but we're going to go with around about i don't know two the border color you could change that as well so if we let's just say we were to add red okay that stands out pretty good too and then we've got this radius these are the corners on your button so what we could do is make that greater i don't know if you could see that moving i do something crazy like that and you can see it's set for 27 and this is exactly what your form will look like now once you're happy with it all you've got to do is generate the form code just like that and then click copy copy to clipboard then what we need to do is to go over to our settings make sure you choose the correct one and then what we need to do is just click to the right of this subscribe little box so you can just make it out and click back okay so once it's there at the end of the information we can click enter and then that will put it directly below now what i tend to do then is put i don't know a series of x's so i know where to find it when i click on the source code and there it is there so what i need to do first of all i know that this keeps on adding these and i'm going to have a word with somebody to fix with that but i paste the code right in between those x's by going boof, like that okay i come all the way down to the bottom and i click save so now if we have a look now there we have it okay so if i go back over to this page that i created that was the default and you must remember to hit that and there it is okay so that looks a lot more professional now obviously you need to change whatever you want okay you need to change all this so you go back to your settings okay and you highlight that and then you click delete and then you add whatever you want okay so if i come over here now and i say go to build abyss online let's say i go to the home page i can uh, i can uh, copy this let's copy this okay so you can put in it whatever you wish now if i click now control v there we have it are you ready to start earning an additional income while building your existing affiliate business at the same time let's just do that um fill in the form below let's just get rid of that and then we've got please fill in the form below let's just highlight that and let's make it bold okay now we can either click this or we can go all the way down to the bottom and click update the settings either or the choice is yours okay so there we have it you know what you are building this was just a demonstration so it needs to be a lot tidier than that but you could do all sorts of different things so if i just click on there now and i go to font size and i click something like i don't know should we click 48 and I come all the way down to the bottom, click update the settings, click on there. That would possibly be a lot better. Okay. So that is how you use this form code. Now, does it work? This is the test. So what you do, the, the
a visitor clicks in there and either puts the first name or the first and second okay and i'm going to put a test email in now then if this is correct oops that won't work will it if this is correct we should get the next page now what do i mean by that it will be this okay so let's go for it let's click gain instant access now and there we have it okay so i know that that form code is working spotless so thanks for listening bye for now again if you have any questions whatsoever all you need to do is send me a message by clicking on the yeah if i'm in the um the admin area of this chat you can text chat me live no videos um and if not it will send me an email instead so there we have it so enjoy your new build -a online inline form code generator thanks for listening bye bye for now